glass, which is this thick, which is like a typical building material uh, window or a door, we can still make the solar panel. The thickness of the glass does not matter. So what I'm saying is that this glass is regular glass. It's nothing uh, special or anything. Nothing special. No, it's the same type of glass that's used to fabricate windows. The supplier makes it this um, this thickness for us to make it cost effective in terms of transportation and our handling. It it only needs to be um, you know thick enough to pr provide the rigidity to process it through our manufacturing process and to get it captured in our laminate. Um, we've arrived at two millimeters. It's a very standard thickness for this type of process in the industry. So, so see the thing is in, in Dubai and where there are buildings and three foot windows made out of the glass that is used in windows, right? And we make it into a solar solar panel. Then each building will generate its own electricity using these thin solar panels. You mean covering the buildings with solar yes. panels yes. rather than windows? Mm -hmm. but the, the only thing about that is because, you know, the, by the by design, light is absorbed by the device we put on. It doesn't make a very good window because it becomes opaque. It so doesn't the, matter. See, the, the light doesn't go through during the day. Yeah. The sun is shining very brightly. They put curtains okay. behind the window. Right. So if a uh, panel yeah. is, they are like thousands of windows you know on a building and if each one yes. is generating electricity Power. yeah then that building will be kind of 80% you know generating out of just solar and uh, you have glass you have buildings you have you know roofs which have if light is coming during the day right for warehouses and factories each roof is generating yeah. electricity yeah conceptually it can be done yes okay so now what is this that we are doing okay this is just a scale of a module equipment in our back end which which looks similar to and in fact is, is very much identical to what's in our volume manufacturing facility in Hattiesburg Mississippi so when the, when the sheet of uh, the circuit, what we call the circuit, or the bottom glass made, made together with the um, device, you can see here, this is what, what we call a circuit. It's, it's got the edge ablated, so you can see through the glass right here. It has a silver ribbon called the bus bar, which is on both sides of the glass to collect the current and bring it out to the world so that it can be hooked up onto the array and be collected as, as electricity. So what this means is that here, there is only just one strip on each, on each side, side, instead of multiple thin wires which are in the photovoltaic, in the uh, solar panel made yeah. from small one foot by one foot uh, wafer. Yes, and in fact, the interconnection and the number of interconnections on solar panels um, really is a determinant of, of their reliability. Much of the failure in the field is associated with the interconnections themselves. So our interconnection is, is so, so simple and you know, limited in that we have two bus bars versus many bus bars to make all those interconnections it's inherently a more reliable and robust solution from an interconnection standpoint. And this is one piece. There are not many, many small wafers that are connected and each one has to be connected to the other one. Here you just connect two wires and the whole panel is producing the electricity. Correct. Okay, great. So this is, this was your first plant that you people set up, yes. and how many years ago was that? It's been about six years now in, um, in, in this facility from a uh, setup and facilitation standpoint. Okay, so from here, six years ago you started, and now you have put up a plant in Mississippi for mass production. Yes. And uh, in one year, how many megawatts can you we have one line right now installed in Mississippi and its capability is 140 megawatts. There's room in, in Mississippi that we are now planning for our expansion 
that can add three more lines, so the total output of that factory will, will be on the order of 600 megawatts annually. Annually. Okay, so we have multiple projects in the Middle East, and uh, so if in one year, they are after the first 10 megawatt plant uh, that we install and it's successful, then you can deliver up to 2000 from June 2000. 13 to June 2014, about 200 megawatts you can deliver? 140 megawatts right 140 now. The first line. So here is a company that can deliver 140 megawatts in the next 12 months. And they have, uh, you have availability of the 10 megawatts now. But you have the availability for 10 megawatts right now? You got it. They got it. So if we come to terms, we can have the government now for the first 10 megawatts. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a, pleasure. It's a great honor to have come here and visit with you. And the guy, let me take his picture. This is the young man. The loyal cameraman. He who has been taking this video, who has been instrumental in bringing me here, showing this and meeting with all these fine people. So I need to do a little bit of homework and I'm going to send this video to the concerned people and hopefully we should have some action soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.